My name is Mary Lene, and in today's video, we are going to be recreating Doja Cat Vogue E Girl tutorial. Hey, Vogue, it's Doja Cat. I've been kind of obsessed with Doja Cat um, ever since the Moo video. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Everybody took that as a joke, but I thought she was serious. I really liked it. Um, she has like this different look to her different style and everything so and i haven't seen a lot of um i'm not even dark skin but dark skin girls doing this e-girl look i don't know why there was like a comment that like dark skin girls don't do e-girls so i just wanted to give it a try i feel like i don't really do anything any like other types of makeup besides like regular natural looking makeup i don't do dramatic makeup so i wanted to try this out so let's see if i fail thank you guys so much for watching before we get started make sure you subscribe and let's get to it in doja cat's tutorial she does a whole like health not health a whole um what's that thing called that you do oh well, fuck it uh oh no uh oh no skincare routine um and makeup routine with like name brand products that i don't have because i'm not rich so we're going to be using alternative stuff that you find at the drugstore or in your makeup kit already so this is for this is the affordable the affordable doja cat tutorial period i really don't feel like doing my skincare routine because i already did it so we're just going to jump into the makeup routine okay okay cool first with my makeup i color correct she don't um use primer okay i really cannot believe that she does not use primer what so we're going to do concealer under the eyes, which I do this anyway, and I'm also going to do my upper lip because that's also where I need to cook it. I wonder if I'm going to snap with this. I hope I do. Wow, bye dark circles. Let's see if we can get rid of this dark up a bit. It's gone. For the most part, it's gone. And then she just keeps on building till it's the way she wants it to be. Whoa. Okay. I think mean, this is as good as it's gonna get. It smells god awful. It smells just like acrylic paint, and I really should not put this on my face. Wow, this one low key blends way better than the um, what's this one? Than the what brand is this? The Master Conceal by Face Studio that I usually use, it blends way better, so I'm gonna keep using that. Wow, okay, let's go next. So I'm using my e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder. This is dangerous because if you leave it on too long, if you use too much, you can become white. 
So what she does is she just does her cheeks because she says she doesn't like this to be shiny. And I agree. This is probably the first part that gets shiny for me when my face starts to get oily. She's scared. Here so that she doesn't get fine lines. I don't think this happens to me, but I will listen to her. Okay. Then she takes... A fluffy brush. I don't really have a fluffy brush, so I'm gonna use my contour brush and just brush it away like Mama Cat says. Okay, not that bad. It's a little white, but okay, I'm listening to you, Doja. Then she takes a foundation brush, which again, I also do not have, and she like. Massages it, so I'm gonna use my, my naked concealer brush and just I guess do the same thing. And then she takes some more and swirls it on her cheeks. And now she's going to create like a contour thing. So she gets her thing again. She says she gets a lot, so let's get a lot. Oh, that's a lot. And she starts to make her own contour. She doesn't say how long she leaves it though, that's the problem. But I'm not gonna leave it for too long because I'm dark and this white is gonna be really white on me. So let's. I don't know if that did anything for me. I guess? I don't know, it's scary. Also goes under her lip. What she says creates a shadow. I already have a shadow. But again, okay. Do you guys see the difference? Is there a shadow? I guess so. I feel like there was already a shadow there. Is this supposed to make your lips look big? I don't know. Okay, next she does her blush. So I'm gonna swirl this. Ooh. On the edges and works her way up. <laughs> I'm getting scared. Why did girls, she said that like, this makeup reminder for girls who had like pneumonia and like look sickly. First of all, black people don't get this red, so. Bring it down to like my contour. When I was younger, I was told that blush was only for like light skinned girls and not dark skinned girls. So I really rarely used it and my parents told me I look like a clown when I tried to. So this looks, I'm screaming. It's like I got punched in the face. Then she puts it on her eyelids. Is it, is it coming out? Can you see? Mm. I can 
do. Wow, I really look red. And then she takes her bronzer and a eyeshadow brush. So now she takes like a liquid blush, I'm gonna cheat, and use this like matte, no, nah, it's not even a matte, it's like a liquid lipstick, which is like the same color as my blush, and I'm gonna use that the way she used it, and she puts it on her nose. I guess. I guess. I don't even do my brows, but, and this brow is uneven, so. This part, this part, I don't, I don't know, y'all. She takes her powder and puts it on her eyebrows. This is scary. This is scary. Alright, when I first saw this video, like... It was like, I think the thumbnail or something was here. And I thought she was like, you know how people use like, I forget what they use, like paper mache, is that what they use? To hide their eyebrows. That's what I thought she was doing, but she wasn't. She then uses a fan brush. And brushes it away. So next she uses a liquid highlight and I have a liquid highlight and I've actually never ever used it so I guess this is a perfect time. Wow, look at me using the stuff that I have. This one is a little scary though so I'm gonna be, I'm scared. Mmm, you like this, ooh, I like this. And then she takes it and puts it on her cheek. Wow, this is crazy because I literally have not done this since high school. And when she does it, her wing is a little up more, but mine is a little like to my ear. So I'm not really upset about that, but at this point, it is what it is. It's still e-girl. So I'm going to try to do the other eye for you guys on camera. That literally was so hard for me to do, I don't know why. Like I said, I haven't done eyeliner in a very long time. So, oh my god, are you serious? I haven't done eyeliner in a very long time, so it came out kind of trash, but at this point it is what it is. Okay, now we're taking even more blush and put it in, into our crease. I don't know, no black person that turns, black people turn white when we get cold, not red. Okay, oh my god, I just licked my lips with all that blush, ew. 
I'm gonna put more. So the next thing that she does is she does her lashes. And she said to get like doll like lashes. So today at the beauty supply store, I got these really ugly thick looking lashes, but they look like dolls to doll lashes to me, so I picked them up. So we're gonna put these on. I'm not the best at putting on lashes, I'm gonna say that right now. Like this is about to take me, it's gonna look like it took me two minutes, but it's about to take me an hour. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut these because they're actually already pretty short. There's one. And now let's put on the other one. Wow, this looks scary. These are thick. You know, what's really bad is that I actually like these lashes and I think that's the bad thing because why would I like these big old things on my eyes, but I do. Next thing that she does, she puts her freckles. So. I actually have like a little skin tag right here, so I'm gonna just darken that up. Wow. I felt bad for the people who had freckles in like middle school and got teased for it because now it's like a trend or whatever, and I, I would be upset. I know when gray hair was like a trend, I was so like annoyed because I used to get teased about having gray hair prematurely. So then she takes this um, eyeshadow, this like bluish reddish and puts it on her eyelids. I really don't have that many colors. So I kind of have this one that's like that. Maybe I can finesse. Yeah, I don't really do eyeshadow, so I don't have that many. So I'm going to take this one and this one and kind of blend them together. So the last thing that she does is her lips and she takes like a mauve, she said. So I'm going to use the same one that I use as a liquid lipstick. And So y'all, this is the finished look. I feel like the darkness of my lashes clash, clashes, clashes with the like, cause my eyebrows are in like a dark black. So it kind of like looks gray now, but oh no, I think I did a pretty good job on this look. I will zoom in so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. So this is the final look. I think I did a good job. You guys can comment down below how you feel I did with this tutorial and if I should do other tutorial looks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week.